Hi everyone, just a short little video today. I thought I'd put out installing the corner bar. So this is the original setup that I've been rocking for quite a while really, uh, about since I've had the bike anyway. It's a Surly Sunrise handlebar and I saw the Surly corner bar coming out and I thought I'd grab one. It looks like a pretty good alternative, nice and wide and gives you a couple of hand positions. So the big selling point with the Surly corner handlebar is that it's a 22.2 diameter so you can use your mountain bike shifters, levers and any accessories that you already have on your mountain bike. So instead of buying road shifters which are pretty damn expensive if you have a hydraulic system and like a 12 speed like this bike. So the corner bar could really save you a few hundred dollars depending on what sort of setup you go for. So here you'll see a quick setup. I don't wrap the handlebars because I want to give it a few rides before I do that. And then I'll give sort of my first day impressions and thoughts. Keeping in mind that this is just my opinion. I'm by no means an expert. It's just sort of what I think about it after the first day in a pretty short ride. I did about eight kilometers or so. No single track or anything. Mainly road riding. I did like a relatively steep side hill that was off-road and I bombed down a couple of hills as well off-road. So swapping from the Surly Sunrise handlebar to the corner bar I figured I would probably have to have a higher stem or figure out a way to bring the handlebars up higher because it would be quite a drop going from the Sunrise bar all the way down to the corner bar. The saddle to bar or like grip area drop would be pretty substantial compared to the, the Sunrise bar. So when first setting it up, I just tried to use the original stem, but I stopped myself and I thought before the first ride, I might as well just throw on a, a high rise stem. I had one on another bike and I figure if I like it on the Kona, then I can just buy another one to replace the one. So I gave it a shot and it worked out really well. So this is just a BBB high-rise stem. I think it's about 35 degrees up and I think it's a 90 millimeter length. This was really just sort of to test things out for me and sort of a baseline to gather what the fit would be like and how the bars would feel at this height. So it worked out pretty good. Coming off the first ride, I have a few things to tweak and I'm still not going to wrap it just yet, but I think it would be cool to try and get like a hood or a replica hood position set up. I don't think it would be as useful as regular drop bar hood positions because you have to wrap quite a bit over the shifter and I've got a, a dropper post lever that's what's on the left in front of the left brake lever. So I think you would need quite a big hand to get some leverage while using the fake hood position. So I don't think it would be terribly useful. Um, you could just use it sort of as a resting place for your hand but yeah, I don't think you'd be able to get any purchase on the handlebars, so you couldn't really use it for climbing or as like a good alternative hand position. So it really just has the two hand positions, one being in the drops, obviously. There is quite a decent amount of space there, so you can shift your hand forward and backwards. I found this a really nice angle to the drops, although I am used to dirt drops already. So it might be a bit of a transition for regular mountain bike riders. But this is it compared to the Surly Sunrise handlebars. So that's quite a bit of back sweep if you're just coming off um, regular mountain bike riser bars. But coming from a road bike, this would feel really comfortable off-road, especially as wide as they are, you get quite a bit of control over the bike. So as well as those two hand positions, I think it would be nice if the little nubs that the brake levers are mounted to, if they were a little bit longer, um, perhaps even like a whole nother fistful length of length but it's not really necessary it would just be nice because that would sort of open up the availability to use that as a sort of a hand position or just sort of to adapt a hood position sort of like the Velo Orange Crazy Bar how it has the nubs that sort of replicate old school bar ends um, it would sort of put you f further forward and it would be nice to have like a decent amount of hand grip there. It's not entirely necessary, but it's something that I think I might do later on. There are 
um, bar and extenders. And because it's a 22.2 bar, you might be able to fit some of those. Um, and also, because it's a chromoly bar, I could just have it extended that way because it's steel, so you can weld or braze to it quite easily. So overall, I think this is a really great handlebar. It's a bit of a turning point for the community and for how manufacturers are producing things. They're thinking of alternatives to the standard and it really opens up a whole sort of spectrum of possibilities. So I'm sure in the future there will be similar sorts of things with other people's like sort of twists on them. So it'll be cool to see what happens from here. So for now, I'm gonna make a few tweaks, wrap them up with some handlebar tape I might actually put some regular mountain bike grips on the drop area. Prefer to use just um, ESI chunky grips or the extra chunkies. They're quite a nice silicon grip. And from there, just tweak it and ride it and keep enjoying the setup. I'll check back in in another few weeks. I did put up a post on my Instagram as well, sort of to give a written explanation. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description and also probably in a comment as well. So thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.